I can't decide if um, I made a terrible mistake in making that last video. I just wanted to reach out to someone about, uh, wanted to reach out to you guys about, you know, what happened. But someone very important to me took it personally. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just... just It is really important to me, but I think I ruined it, you know? <laughs> and I don't know if this is just what was going to happen, you know, eventually, or if, uh, Or, you know, if I fuck this up. <laughs> He's always been like a rock for me. He's always... I can never be with him. I really would love to tell everyone the details, but some things are just not for <laughs> for YouTube. But I can't, I can never be with him, but we were so close. And I don't know if we can be close anymore, and I don't know what I'm going to do about it. And I don't know. And I just hate. And this is like all I've ever known. This right here. This right the fuck here. I never... I never asked to fall in love with someone that I couldn't be with, okay? That was never my intention, but that happened. And now they're cutting it off because of the reasons why we can't be together. And you know, that's completely understandable, but it just seems really out of the blue for me. And it seems like it's my fault. And I never wanted it to be my fault. I never wanted to think that... <laughs> For the rest of my life, I'll wonder if this was because of me, you know? And he doesn't think it'll be for the rest of my life. And, you know, I feel like I'm not the kind of person who likes to make just, like... What? I don't have words right now. I don't make just fucking comments that I don't consider. And I just really feel like he's important. And he'll always be on my mind in some way. And heartbreak sucks. That's that's all that this is going to amount to, this video. In the future, I don't know. I... And I promised I was not going to cry on YouTube again. I said that. And I was proud of that. But that's not happening. That's not happening. And I don't know... Like, I don't know if anybody else can relate to this, but this person, they, any time shit got really difficult, and, you know, usually in, like, the whole, the, the dating area of my life, but, you know, other stuff too, I always talk to him about it. 
And I always felt like someone was there to care, you know, care about me, even if I felt like no one did. He was the first person to make me think that maybe it was possible for someone to fall for someone like me, you know? That it was possible to love a transsexual. And I don't think his feelings have changed. I just think he, he's trying to move on with his life, which is... I just wish I was ready, you know? I wish I was ready to move on with my life. But I can't, I can't keep him around until I'm ready. I don't know what I'm going to do without him. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't have anyone else who cares like he does, you know? And I don't do well by myself. <laughs> I don't, I don't do well. I hate being alone so much. If he watches this, I'm sorry. I don't know what 